Are you ready to have your website get found by the right people? Are you looking to rank at the top of Google so you get more traffic to your website? Are you ready to learn how to use SEO and content marketing to grow your organic traffic? If so, you are in the right place, my friend. Welcome to the Simple SEO Content Podcast, where I show you how to combine the power of SEO, search engine optimization, and content marketing to build your like, know, and trust factor with your audience, which allows you to get found by the right people and turn those visitors into buyers. No more frustration or confusion and no more time wasted wondering if you're doing your SEO right. It's time to learn how to use SEO and content marketing to grow your business. Hi, my friends. Welcome back to our very last brand new episode of the Simple SEO Content Podcast for 2023. This has been so much fun. I launched this on February 1st, which actually is also my wedding anniversary. And it was very exciting to be able to bring you a podcast this year and connect with you in this way. And I do love it when you DM me on Insta and let me know that you listen to it or when you send me an email or make a comment on Facebook. It really helps to know that this is helpful. It is something that you enjoy. Um, I have had so much fun creating this for you, and I really look forward to 2024 and going forward. I mean, it's twice a week now because we have the Tuesday episode that's all about being a business owner or entrepreneurship. We talk a lot about marketing over there and our ideal customers, and then on Thursdays is all about SEO and content. So I'm loving it. I hope you are as well. Do me a favor if you do like it leave a rating, leave a review, tell a friend about it. Let's help me build this and grow. It's growing and I'm so excited for that. But the more people listen, the more people that we can help, I can help and they can really grow their businesses. So today I want to talk about 2024 planning. So if you've not yet listened to the last two episodes on the SEO content Thursday episodes, the one about the reporting and then the one about the year-end review. I do want you to listen to both of those in addition to this one, just because they kind of all go hand in hand. So what I want you to do as you start planning for 2024, (coughs) sorry, a little cough. As you start planning for 2024, I want you to reflect upon 2023. What did you do from an SEO and content perspective last year? So during the course of 2023, did you learn about keyword research? Did you take the free class? Did you enroll in simple SEO content and learn the whole process? Did you boost your keyword rankings? Did you build your domain authority? Did you earn links? Did you become a resource for reporters? Like what did you do? Did you blog Each week, did you learn how to get more traffic to your blog using SEO? What did you try for 2023? And then I want you to look at it and think about what worked and what didn't work. And the things that worked and the way we know they worked is by looking at our reporting. So if you were working on SEO and you were really zeroing in on keyword research and really understanding how to choose the right keyword and how where to use it so that you could rank higher and you saw an increase in your keyword ranking, then that worked and that's fantastic. If you saw an increase in your keyword ranking, you should probably also be seeing an increase in your organic search traffic in your Google Analytics report by now. If not, be patient. It probably is coming, especially if that increase in the keyword re- in the keyword rankings is still like maybe you're on page two, maybe you're position 11, 12, 13, or maybe you're at the bottom of page one, you're six, seven, eight. You may not be moving forward as quickly. But once you get up there in that, like positions three, two, one, et cetera, you should see a nice increase in the amount of traffic that's coming to your site. You want to also look at your overall total traffic for your website. How did you rank compared to last year? How much was SEO traffic last year? How much was SEO traffic this year? So I really want you to think about what worked and then also what didn't work. And then from there, I want you to lay out a plan for 2024. 
So you want to do more of what worked and less of what didn't work. So if you were blogging weekly, but your keyword rankings are not increasing or you're not getting an increase in traffic, then there's a breakdown somewhere. Something's not working. If you're in simple SEO content, come in and ask a question about it when we resume our student calls in January. We're on a pause right now for the holiday break, but come in and ask, or you can ask in the group. You know I'm still going to answer, but we'll do more in depth when our student calls resume. But go in and ask the question and let's look at it together and figure out why. Are we ranking for the wrong keyword? Is the wrong page ranking? Is there a breakdown between what the consumer is expecting when they get to that page? We can look at all of that. If you're seeing an increase in your rankings and you're seeing a corresponding increase in your traffic, that's great. So you probably want to double down and do more of that and create more blog posts this year. Because remember, the way that SEO works is that it's kind of like your retirement account. You put some in, you get a little bit. You put some in, you get a little bit. You put some in, you get a little bit. You put some in and suddenly, holy cow, you can't believe how much growth there was. It's like compound interest. It just takes time and you keep doing it and doing it and doing it and suddenly it just takes off. Um, one of my favorite clients when I was at the agency in the corporate world, she referred to SEO as the unstoppable train. Now, the difference was they did everything we ever recommended that they do for SEO with no pushback, no question, no fighting it. Not all clients were that way. I'm going to be completely honest. There were a lot of them who fought the recommendations, but those who implemented exactly what we told them to do got the best results. And that's what I want for you, my friend. So I want you to lay out your plan. So if you blogged once a month this year and you started to see a little bit of an increase, but you couldn't get to that twice a month. Can you get to twice a month for 2024 knowing that once a month started to make a difference for you? If you blogged four times a month, you did a weekly blog post, you, you followed what I teach you and what I recommend, and you saw an increase in keyword rankings, and you saw an increase in traffic, and that led to more traffic, more leads, and more sales for your business, then I bet it's pretty easy for you to think, I'm gonna keep doing that. So I want you to lay out your plan. I want you to think about what pages maybe need to be refreshed or updated or optimized if you have pages that you should refresh. I don't want you to refresh your pages more than once a year, but if you haven't refreshed your optimization on a page in two or three years, it might be worth looking at. Is there a keyword I could rank better? Is there something that might be a better fit? Is there something I could potentially rank higher? Should I update this, etc.? You could take a look at that and you could plan to do some of that. You could plan out your content for the year. What are the pillars that you're going to focus on? So you know the way I teach you this, you want your content to tie to your products, your services, and your ideal customers. So you want to make sure that you're being very methodical about this. If you have not yet laid out your content plan for the year, I want you to do that. Choose your four topics and then have fun with it. Turn on some music, grab a a stack of sticky notes and just brainstorm or grab a whiteboard. I have both. I do sticky notes. I do whiteboard. I just sit and put ideas into an Excel spreadsheet. Whatever it is, however your brain works. Just, sometimes I just grab a legal pad and just start jotting ideas down. What questions do your ideal customers ask? What questions are asked in groups? What does Google suggested search show? What are things that people are talking about that are related to your business? Start thinking about all the content that you could plan out for next year. If you're not sure how to do this, join me in Simple SEO Content because we teach all of this. Like, you guys, I can't make this easier for you than just saying, join me in the class because I teach you exactly how to do all of this. Um, but what I want you to do is lay out a plan. Are you going to blog weekly? Are you going to blog twice a month? Are you going to blog once a month? Are you going to update your optimization on any pages that maybe aren't optimized? Are you going to add new products or services for this coming year? Because if you are, then you need to make sure you have content that supports them. Are you going to run promotions? We're going to talk about a lot of this in our marketing one as well. Actually, we talked about it on Tuesday in our last marketing um our last marketing podcast episode, we talked all about all the different marketing channels, but I want you to really lay out your plan. So for me, 
my plan for 2024 is pretty straightforward. I'm going to continue doing what I've been doing since 2016 when I started this business because it works. So I'm going to blog once a week. I'm going to focus on topics that include search engine optimization, content marketing, blogging, marketing, and small business ownership or entrepreneurship because those are the topic areas that I teach about. I'm going to continue to sell two courses, simple SEO content and simple marketing. <coughs> so I can teach you how to grow your business. There is a potential I may add in an email marketing class. I'm toying with that thought. We'll see if I have the bandwidth. If not, maybe it'll be a 2025 plan. It's not set in stone. But that's basically what I'm doing. My content, my core content is going to be the blog. And that's because Google likes words to read to rank you. And then I'm going to add in the podcast or the YouTube video clip there so that if somebody wants to watch the video or they want to listen to the audio, they have that option. They don't necessarily have to read the blog post, but that way I have what my ideal customer wants. I have what Google wants. I'm going to optimize all of it and I'm going to continue working on increasing the domain authority of my website so that I can potentially rank for even more keywords and boost my site's authority. And above all, I'm going to provide great value to my customers. My content is going to be super helpful and it's going to be consistent because that's really what's going to be the most important in the long run. So I want you to lay out your plan. What are you going to do in 2024 to achieve your SEO and content goals? So if you've not yet set goals for 2024, go back to the Tuesday marketing owner, Tuesday business owner marketing podcast episodes and listen to the one on goal setting. And I want you to set your goals for 2024. And then I want you to lay out a plan to achieve those goals. And if you want to join me, I do have the full marketing class as well now. Super exciting. Make sure you're checking the website for that one so we know when the marketing class, I am actually looking at my 2023 planner, my 2024 is on the other side. Um, so I don't have the marketing class date right in front of me, but I will be teaching that I believe in February so you'll be able to come in and learn how to do all the marketing of your business as well as how to do the SEO and the content. So if you have any questions, you know how to find me. Lay out your plan for 2024. It's going to make your life a lot easier. Spend a few days now planning out your ideas, generating your ideas, putting them into your pillars so you know that you're talking to your ideal customer on a regular basis. I would love to see you lay out your plan for January, February, and March. Go ahead and work on Q1 and determine how often are you going to blog, what topics are you going to blog on, and then where are you going to share that content and get that ready to go so that when you come back after holiday break and you're ready to go in January, you have a plan. If you're not yet in Simple SEO content with me, go ahead and plan on joining me in the free class in early January, where I'm going to teach you all the stuff to kind of get started, and then you'll have the opportunity to join me in Simple SEO content that week, and we'll go through all of this together, and you'll be in the student group, and you'll be able to ask questions and get answers and get help, and guys, you do not have to do this on your own. I'm here to help you learn, and I want to teach you. I want you to join me in class. If you have any questions, you can find me, you know how to find me. DM me on Insta at Etched Marketing Academy or reply back to your weekly email. I love when you guys do. And then do me a little favor, those ratings and reviews, they're super helpful if you wouldn't mind leaving one. Um, let people know what you love about the podcast. Share it with your friends who also are business owners who are trying to grow their business. It helps us both. All right, guys, you have a fantastic holiday break. I am signing off. I will be back live with new episodes in January, but I'm going to enjoy three to four weeks off. Um, you will have probably some best of episodes or something for the next couple weeks, just so you still have some content. But the new ones will be back in January when I will be ready to go. Super excited to teach the free class, to teach simple SEO content, and then to really also get into simple marketing with you. 2024 is going to be a fun year. I can't wait and I can't wait to see what you do in 2024 as well. All right, have a great day and I will see you soon.
That's all for today's episode of the Simple SEO Content Podcast. I want to thank you so much for joining me. Make sure you visit my website, etchedmarketing.com, and visit the freebies tab. Right there, you're going to find the SEO Content Quick Start Guide along with the free SEO class. So you'll have everything you need to know to get started with SEO and content marketing. Then do me a favor, if you wouldn't mind, if you would do a rating and a review of this podcast on your favorite platform, that would really help spread the message. And I do greatly appreciate it. If you have any questions, you can always DM me on Instagram at Etched Marketing Academy, and I will see you right back here next week.